Good morning everyone! Welcome sa ating channel and yes, pag-uusapan natin ngayon ang aking top 3 recommendations sa mga gustong bumili ng computer ngayong pandemic and at least hindi sila matatalo or hindi kayo malulugi pagdating sa pagbili ng computers dahil nga alam nyo naman siguro na nai-upload natin dito sa ating channel yung mga pangyayari ngayon na bakit may overpricing, bakit nagkakaroon ng shortage so how to be a bit wise buyer ngayong pandemic. So, ayan yung pag-uusapan natin dito sa ating episode ito. And of course, for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCDK, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan. Check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Okay, so wala na masyadong intro-intro. Let's go sa ating unang recommendation. First, buy an APU. Yes, we all know that if you will be going to an APU uh, processor, automatically medyo... Uh, malilimitahan yung gusto mong bilhing video card because APU processors are just meant for budget consumers or those guys who cannot be able to avail a video card immediately and magsasettle down muna sa isang uh, processor na mayroong magandang integrated graphics. Yes, but as much as we are in favor para sa mga budget consumer with this kind of recommendation, it is also a way for us to avoid buying an overpriced video card. Kaya I recommend APU dahil lalong-lalo na ngayon, meron na rin mga APUs na Ryzen 5 at the same time Ryzen 7. And yes, other than the part na medyo ma-avoid mo yung pagbili ng overpriced video card, you will also have this kind of situation na mas makapag-decide kung anong video card ang bibilihin mo rin in the future. Like for example, in terms of future proof or uh, should I settle down with an RTX 3070? Baka naman kaya palang bumili ng RTX 3080. Parang mga ganong kind of scenario na kumbaga mas nakakapag-ipon ka pa then later on you will just find out na uy, kaya ko rin palang bumili ng RTX 3090 pa. And then for the next one that I think it's more applicable sa mga twisted kung they will settle down for a laptop or they will go for a desktop. Buy a gaming laptop. So that's number two recommendation because before I recommend going for a desktop if you want more powerful uh, computer like it's times three over a gaming laptop plus portability. Yes, for a gaming laptop, you might be able to settle down with a Ryzen 5 and a GTX 1650 Ti at a 50k plus price point. While if you will settle down with a gaming desktop, you will be able to go for a Ryzen 5 and 5700 XT or as of now RTX 3060 or 6700 XT kung hindi lang overpriced ang ating market. That is how far yung advantage pero yun nga walang portability na naibibigay ng isang gaming laptop. Ngayong pandemic dahil overpriced ang mga video cards, hindi mo na kailangan pag-isipan yung ganong kind of scenario na medyo mapipaisip ka na dapat sana nag-desktop na lang ako. Dahil ngayong pandemic, if you will be going to a gaming desktop, most likely it will just be almost on par or I think uh, maybe um, parehas lang yung specifications ng isang desktop at isang laptop. So kung ako sa'yo, pipiliin ko na lang na mag-gaming laptop aside from the fact na at least hindi ka magigilty sa sarili mo na nadaya ka or naloko ka. I don't mean sa mga stores na nanloloko sila sa mga consumer. It's because of the pandemic. Pero, if we will go sa mga real talk side, yun talaga yung pakiramdam ng isang consumer lagi. Na, naloko ako. Kasi nabili mo yung isang item na kaya mo naman palang bilhin ng 10K, pero nabili mo siya ng 20K. It's just that kind of scenario. Well, yun nga. Kung ayaw mo maramdaman yung ganun, then settle down with a gaming laptop. Kung isa naman sa mga reason mo kung bakit ka bibili ng isang high-end computer is also portability. So, this is applicable sa mga twisted kung magla-laptop sila or magla-desktop sila. And then the third thing which is I think recommended for guys that are into production or what may say primary usage ng kanyang computer is editing and then secondary lang ang gaming. Buy your preferred CPU 
and settle down with an entry-level video card. That is my third recommendation. Why? At least, magagamit mo pa rin yung unit mo while waiting for the right time to buy a video card at the right price. Na hindi ka pupunta sa sitwasyon na bumili ka na nga lang ng video card na overpriced, bumili ka pa ng pangit na video card. Kasi nga mga kaibigan, video card lang naman ang talagang lumobo ang presyo ngayong pandemic. The rest of the items like processor, RAM, SSD, case, etc. Hindi naman tumaas yung presyo. Or at least, you can still buy them at a lower pricing or at a discounted pricing. Kaya kung mapapansin niyo yung mga recommendation ko, it's ways to avoid buying a video card sa overpriced na halaga. Anyway, uh, here is another bonus uh, tip kung bibili kayo ngayong pandemic and uh, tanggap nyo na na mahal ang presyo, mayroong shortage. I recommend na kung bibili kayo ng piyesa, bibili kayo sa isang computer store as a whole PC build. Hindi yung katulad dati na bibili ako gay ganito kasi mas mura dito. Bibili ako dito ng video card dahil mas mura dito. Bibili ako dito ng processor dahil mas mura dito. Yes, there is that kind of a uh, uh, tactics na ginagawa natin dati para mas makamura tayo, mas makasulit tayo. And I think with that kind of scenario na bibilihin mo lahat sa isang computer store, mas magkakaroon ka ng power na maghagal ng pricing na. O bibilihin ko naman sa'yo lahat, hindi lang naman video card. Bibili rin ako ng processor, RAM, etc. as a whole system unit. So baka pwede mong ibigay ng ganitong presyo. ba? Or at least free shipping kung malayo. Like for example, from Luzon going to Mindanao. Then, Malaking bagay na kung sinabi niyang free shipping yung item. So hopefully nasagot ko po yung ating katanungan. And if you want to check the previous video kung bakit ito po yung naging topic natin ngayon, uh, pwede niyo pong check sa ating video description below and ipa-flash po natin dito sa ating screen. Okay, so for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe.